Hi, my name is Chris Turner. I designed and developed this training course that you've signed up for. I'd like to thank you for doing that. And now I'd like to share with you step four, improve process flow. So why is this important? Well, let me go through the first three steps and then we'll get to step four. Step one is strategy deployment. That's the organization deciding where it is, where it needs to be, how it's going to get from A to B. Step two is value stream mapping. On that journey, it needs to focus in on certain areas of the organization and it needs to improve them. Value stream mapping is identifying where it's going to get the best bang for the buck. Step three is workplace organization. That's actually creating a clean, orderly, and organized workplace because we don't want people searching for things and looking for things. We want them actually performing their tasks and jobs in order to give the customer what they want when they want it. Now, step four, improve process flow is the next level because once you've organized the work area, it can look very nice, but the problem is there are going to be constraints within any process, whether it's a manufacturing facility, an office area, or a healthcare facility. There's always bottlenecks, and it's where there's a backup of parts and materials, products, people, patients, documents, anything that starts to pile up. So when you walk through an organization, if you see people backing up, products backing up, documents piled up on somebody's desk, that shows you there's a constraint in the process. So the first question we should ask is, well, why is that happening? And the thing you've got to remember is that it doesn't matter how fast everything moves towards that constraint or how fast it moves after the constraint. That constraint is controlling the flow of the entire process. And until you reduce that constraint or eliminate it, then it's going to always be the gating factor or the controlling factor in the flow. So one of the things you're going to discover in this particular training, step four, is that improved process flow is an important factor in seeing how you can improve throughput to move something from A to B with the minimum amount of constraints or bottlenecks in it and how you would eliminate them if you do find them and what the process is for doing that. It's a critical factor. It's really important to do this. And it's one of the best ways between step three and step four to speed up throughput in any organization. I'd like to thank you for doing this training. I hope you enjoy it.